Russian President Vladimir Putin met Iran's president on Friday at a time when Tehran is supplying weapons for Moscow's fighting in Ukraine and concerns are growing over escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its militant allies. Putin and Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian discussed the situation in the Middle East on the sidelines of an international forum in the Turkmen capital, Ashgabat, Russian state media said. Moscow and Tehran signed a $1.7 billion deal for Iran to export drones to Russia after Putin launched his so-called special military operation in Ukraine in 2022, and the U.S. also believes it has transferred short-range ballistic missiles. Both countries were accused this week by Ken McCallum, the head of Britain's domestic intelligence agency MI5, of carrying out a staggering rise in attempts at assassination, sabotage and other crimes on UK soil. McCallum said his agents and police have tackled 20 potentially lethal plots backed by Iran since 2022 and warned that it could expand its targets in the UK if conflicts in the Middle East deepen. During the two presidents' meeting, Putin told Pazeshkian that Moscow and Tehran's positions on international events are close. Relations with Iran are a priority for us, and they are developing very successfully, Putin said. We actively work together in the international arena, and our assessments of current events in the world are often very close. He also invited the Iranian leader to visit Russia and Pazeshkian accepted. God willing, we will also participate in the BRICS summit, and the documents that will have to be signed there, we will do everything for the signing of these documents," Pazeshkian said. I'm going to go to Kishwar, but I'm going to go to Yetas. 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 ولی هنوز این افزایش جبران نکرده روند نوزالی سال گذشته ولی به طور کلی روند روند مزبطی است ما اکتیم در رابطه این نیست مجدارو نرینی ناشه اتصال که پرسیدیشی که سایبیتی نیره شایست اوچین بریسکی ناشه اتناشه نیده از نیم در نیم اولشاتی و کرپلاتی ما برای همه فرصت های خوبی است میتونیم به همدیگه کمک کنیم از هر نظر و نگاه ها و موزه گیری های ما در دنیا خیلی به همدیگه نزدیکتر از دیگران هست از بودت تم پتپسات سم می زیلن سیاد یا پتپسانی تیم دکنیم انشالله حتما در بریکس شرکت خواهیم کرد و اون معاهداتی که با هم نوشته شده رو اونجا نهایی بکنیم و بتونیم با همدیگه اون سند راه بردی رو هم امضا کنیم Даст Бог, мы тоже принимаем участие в БРИКС и те документы, которые... Архал Овза дар мантага бисиар бухраниэ ва кешвархай Европаи и Америкаи делешун не мехад мантага арам баше та бетуним ин эртебатат ро дар пасар арам и ба хамдиге дама бе. Да, ситуация сейчас в регионе сложная и Америка и Европа... Russian President Vladimir Putin handed a state award on Wednesday to Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko as he welcomed his closest ally in Moscow. I sincerely value our good personal relations that we have developed over these many years of working together, said Putin while Lukashenko stressed that even, faced with a choice many times, Belarus never turned away from Russia. Belarusian authorities had just said they launched new criminal investigations against dozens of opposition activists the day before, part of a sweeping crackdown on dissent ahead of next year's presidential vote, in which Lukashenko intends to seek a seventh term. He has already been in power for more than 30 years. After Lukashenko's previous balloting in 2020 which was seen at home and abroad as rigged, he unleashed brutal repressions, in which more than 65,000 people were detained. About 1,300 are currently held behind bars as political prisoners, according to the Vyasna Human Rights Group.
Мы с вами поддерживаем постоянный диалог, регулярно встречаемся, созваниваемся, обсуждаем насущные двусторонние проблемы и важные региональные и международные вопросы. Искренне дорожу нашими добрыми личными отношениями, которые сложились у нас с вами за эти многие годы совместной работы. Уверен, что общими усилиями мы продолжим развивать российско-белорусское сотрудничество. За выдающиеся заслуги в развитии отношений, союзничества и стратегического партнерства между Российской Федерацией и Республикой Беларусь, укреплении дружественных связей между российским и белорусским народами, а также за большой личный вклад в создание и эффективную деятельность союзного государства орденом святого апостола Андрея Первозванного награжден Лукашенко Александр Григорьевич, президент Республики Беларусь, председатель Высшего государственного совета Союзного государства. Нас много раз ставили перед выбором, но мы никогда, подчеркиваю, никогда не отворачивались от России. Вы и ваши коллеги это хорошо знают. Беларусь надежный союзник. Я хочу, чтобы в России это знали прежде всего. Белорусы никогда россиян не подводили. Примите мои заверения и впредь никогда не подведут.